our, where are we? Make sure our glasses are straight, straight before we go live. All right, go ahead. Are we on? No, we could be. Oh, okay. No. All right, well, you know, I'm glad we said that like the last three times. The glasses were kind of <laughs> yeah, like this. Right, like, like, fix right? your hair, right? My son saw it and he said, Daddy, what, did Steve hit you? And I said, no, he didn't. Uh, yeah. They were live. They were live. They were live. Yeah. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you again for coming to Health Alliance Network Live. Uh, we are your co-hosts, the Steves. Squared. Steve Squared. Yep. Double your pleasure. So thank you for being here. We are uh, Health Alliance Network. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. And thank you. Those who have been here before, welcome back. And Health Alliance Network, in case you did not know, Health Alliance Network is a health and wellness company focused on care by way of one-on-one -on -one, uh, interactions with doctors, general practitioners, pediatricians. Our services are available 24-7, 365. We provide medical services, as mentioned. We also offer dermatology, behavioral health, therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, and a prescription benefits plan all wrapped up together. Yes, that's yeah. correct. Okay. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Does, does something change? No, nothing <laughs> changed. We got that and more. We got a few more things okay. coming on board. And we're, we're available in all 50 states around the nation. So anywhere, anytime we are available, services can be offered to you and anybody you know. Readily. Everybody I know, actually. Readily. Readily. That's right. So welcome. Welcome, welcome to Health Alliance Network, everyone. We got an interesting talk today. Uh, we, uh, we we just got back from our um, telemedicine symposium that we're doing in, in Fort Lauderdale, and uh, John Scully. Uh, My head is exploding. <laughs> yeah, it's exploding. Uh, John Scully gave a great talk today about uh, digital disruption of healthcare. In case you don't know who John Scully is, I know you know who he is. Uh, he's former CEO of Apple. And current CEO, or maybe CEO of Pepsi, I don't know what you call him, but I know he was the CEO, he's not the current CEO of Pepsi. I think they have a girl CEO now. But anyway, John Scully, the former CEO of Apple, gave a talk today about how the digital technology is disrupting healthcare in not only America, but the world. We're seeing huge changes. Huge. And in a variety of ways, too, because I'm excited to see what Apple is going to be putting together coming down the pipe. I think that's going to be a game changer. And it's only going to help what it is that we're trying to do here with Health Alliance Network. Yeah, remote patient monitoring is going to be a big part That's of the future of healthcare, a big part. Uh, before we uh, get into the promise that we made, which is create a, la uh, a laptop lifestyle, mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about how the company was formed and why we were formed and, and how we got from beginning to this moment in time. That's a, you know, it's a good point. We, we brought in a lot of new agents recently. We have, And yes. the, you know, as we, like, we like to really be... Um, hands-on <laughs> and very engaged with everybody who, who uh, works in the company who works for the company yes and you know they in that in that communication they want to say well how, how do you get started how, did, how how come i'm here how come you're here and how are we moving forward so so we've, we've told this story effectively a thousand times yeah, over yeah. the last few months we should know it right we should know well it. it's actually our story so we definitely would know our story no, we should know it. yeah right but it started yeah, it started actually with a concept uh, of, of a brick and mortar medical service. Mm. And the brick and mortar medical service was to provide essentially a membership service to the local community where you would pay a monthly fee and be able to go see a doctor as much as you wanted to, right. as often as you wanted. And, you know, we, as we, and it was a great model, great, great right. model, because we were able to bring the cost of healthcare way down for a family, mm -hmm. going to a doctor's office, seeing doctors, um, and, which was brilliant. Right, and we actually worked with a lot of state legislators to get we did this kind of laws and these regulations passed to be able to allow to be able to do this in different states. We did. It started with my home state. Our, our first our first uh, talk started in my home state in Kentucky, where we were talking to the Department of Health and Human Services there, where they had actually offered us uh, if we would open these remote care facilities in the rural communities. They offered us funding to do that. They didn't care if they were open just one day a week because there was no doctors available mm -hmm. in a vast part of the um, area outside of the uh, big cities in Kentucky, which are few and far between. It's a far state. And you figure in Kentucky has a lot of rural areas. Mm -hmm. and even in, we're here in Florida. Uh, even in Florida, there's a lot of rural areas. You get towards the center of the state. And, get out of this area yeah. of, of South Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm. uh, the Palm Beach uh, counties. It's all rural. It's sporadic throughout the nation. So we, what we did was we recognized an opportunity, and that opportunity was that there was a huge void, a huge gap in the market for healthcare. Uh, we were offered funding from various states to actually open facilities, even if they were open just one day a week, that we could provide healthcare. 
So we started exploring some of the possibilities. And one of the things that we looked at, that we, we realized that technology has evolved so fast that we could take peripheral devices to the field and essentially have a, a, a technician uh, provide diagnostic testing uh, mm -hmm. for patients. Uh, that in itself uh, was fairly straightforward. The, the, the barrier, the hurdle we had is once we perform those diagnostic tests, how do we get that information to a medical doctor, psychiatrist, whoever it may be, to interpret those tests? That was our, that was our challenge. Right, and, and on top of that challenge, we still had the issue of driving and, and yes. travel to and from the, 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 the potential patient needing service. So that it was time intensive. It was a great service to have. It was very time intensive. And then going back to what you're saying that Kentucky was looking to get us to do it, even if it was just you know, one, day, one a day a week, how do you, how do you even keep your doors open to try and have a business where you can be open just one day a week and keep the lights on and pay the right. rent? So that, that was, you know, there were, there were cost prohibitive in, in moving forward with some of those models, unfortunately. Many, many areas of this country are rural areas. We are essentially an agricultural country. You know, our, our we have lots of open line. Lot, those of you who live in big cities don't realize how much expa vast expanse of, of land we have in America where there are no healthcare facilities. There's no medical professionals. Uh, my, my first look here in Florida was at a small city called Immokalee. Uh, there's a population of about 25,000. It's a migrant population. It's an agricultural area. There was no clinician whatsoever within two hours of that city. I mean, these are places that might have only one Starbucks. Yeah, <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Speaking of Starbucks, I see that we have Mike with us tonight. We have the Mike Brothers. The Mike Brothers. Yes. yes. Mike Sr., Mike Jr., the Mike Brothers are with us tonight. Again. What is it with the Mikes? I don't know. I have a question. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm always confused on the English language. A couple of things that, that, that I clearly don't understand. Like, I have a motorcycle. And I have a bicycle. So why is it a bicycle and a motorcycle when it's expelled, it's spelled exactly the same way? It's got a motor on it. Motorcycle. Shouldn't it be a motorcycle? Well, if it was, if you had one wheel, would it be a motor unicycle? <laughs> Maybe. I don't, I don't know either. I think I have one of those in the garage. Uh, we have a great time. We don't take ourselves very seriously, as we always say, but we do take our business very, very serious. Uh, we have one objective to America and eventually the globe, which is to provide better access to affordable health care. And we're doing that. We're doing that every single day of our life. We're doing it through telemedicine and technology. And that's what John Scully talked about today. Yep. Technology. Technology. And, you know, and going further on our, our path to where we got to today, mm -hmm. um, saying that technology was the, the bridge to get from everybody wanted a service in the rural areas right. to having on-demand services as readily available as it possibly can be. Once we really dove into the concepts of telemedicine and remote monitoring and, and remote care management as a whole, we realized that telemedicine in the format that we currently have it is the gateway to be given all these folks yes. an opportunity to have healthcare. Absolutely. And and what you you know, as we as we were doing this, we realized and the people we spoke to as well, heart wrenching stories about yeah. not having any kind of health care and, and ailments that could have been taken care of on simple checkups, simple conversations with the doctor yeah. where things went way too long and there were serious side effects thereof. So being able to provide telemedicine so we can have an on-demand uh, conversation with the doctor, even if you just have a question, uh, you know, I have this thing, I'm not sure what it is, can you give me, give me some advice on it? So right. that advice might save your life. So we feel like we're... Not only is it a great business opportunity, it's also a tremendous service that we feel that we're providing to absolutely everybody we come in contact with. We are. Um, moving forward, you know, we, we launched this company with the intent of providing better access to affordable health care. Our, our original business model has evolved a, mm -hmm. a, a great deal since that, those first few meetings that we had over two years ago. And where we are today is that we have de we have developed and are continuing to develop an mm -hmm. agent network. And that agent network has done a couple of things. Number one, we, we, we're providing a meaningful, meaningful service. Uh, we're providing he true health care to the population. No matter where you are, no matter where you come from, you have access to health care through telemedicine. Right. And we are, we are a health care company, first and foremost. First and foremost. Absolutely. Beginning to end. Beginning to end. So what we looked at when we first started this company is how do we bring this product, our telemedicine product, to market? And where we landed was very simple. And that was our broker-agent relationship that we have. Um, we now 
have enlisted the help of, of, of many thousands of people, literally thousands of people that are out there sharing our telemedicine product, Health Alliance Network, mm -hmm. with others. And number one, they're doing a great thing. They're bringing health care to the people. And at the same time, they're doing something for themselves, which is they're generating an income. What inspired me to talk about this this week was when we were running the commissions report for our sales agents. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at these pages and pages of commissions, and I'm saying, I bet you there's a whole group of people out there that don't even know about this opportunity no. that's available, where you have an opportunity to provide a very valuable service and make a good living by doing it. Uh, and, and that's great. That's great. Yeah, it actually felt good uh, seeing the scroll <laughs> getting ready to go out the door. So that was, that was a good moment for us as a, as a company. It, it excited me. Because not only are we providing a, a tremendous service to all of our members, um, what we're able to do for our agents, give mm -hmm. them another income, or maybe it's their primary income, it's however they want to structure their business with us. Right. Uh, we're, we're, we're hitting the ground in all different areas of we're taking care of people's health and well-being and now we're taking helping to take care of their financial well-being mm -hmm. so we're doing uh, all aspects of their life and lifestyle to help everybody be uh, successful in in their well-being mm -hmm. and their financial future well you know having uh, a comfortable financial future or making mm -hmm. a comfortable living is important uh, it's important uh, for lots of reasons. And let me just say this, that whoever invited you here tonight, go to their website, get, call them, talk to them about the opportunities here, not only in telemedicine, but the opportunity to create your uh, either uh, a second income or uh, a primary income if you want to. Uh, we have several people that mm -hmm. are doing this as their primary source of income. Uh, we have the highest commission uh, program available in the industry. Mm -hmm. We're very proud of what we've done. We've been able to negotiate some great, great, great contracts. Uh, we really like what we're doing. And sometimes when we talk about this, people feel guilty talking about being able to make money. But I like to make money. I like money. There's some things that I absolutely need. I mean, some of the basics are I need air every day. I need to breathe, so I need air. Now, where I breathe the air is what's important. Do I want to breathe the air at a cabin in the, in the Rocky Mountains or a beach house in St. Martin? That's, the, that's air that I'm going to breathe, but I have to get there. So, you know, you also need money for those awesome glasses you have on. These are brand new, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> these are brand new, and uh, somebody forgot to turn their Sorry. phone off, right? Uh, yes, phone's off. See this sign? On air, phone's, phone's off. off. Uh, anyway, yes, these are great new glasses. If you guys want to look at them, see? There we go. I think we're all blinded by what you just did. <laughs> it should be. It should be. Uh, we've created a very exciting opportunity here. Uh, everywhere from an affiliate partner. Mm -hmm. uh, affiliate partners are very common. So we're yeah. effectively a referral person, so yes. some of you can provide referrals to the company and have an opportunity to make some commissions on that. Sure, absolutely. We have uh, agents that come in, people who, uh, who are looking to be agents of the company and they have a, a lot of sales experience and a lot of reach. So they like to come in and sell the product. It's a tremendous product to sell. It's a great story. It's an easy conversation to have. It's not a convincing that we need healthcare. You know? It's not a convincing that healthcare comes on a phone now. You know what a phone is, you know what healthcare is, so yep. A and B equals C. And then we have people coming who want to be business owners who want to come in and build effectively an agency within the corporation. And it gives them that great ability to become uh, effectively an independent business owner. I believe this weekend one of our uh, new agents has put together a, a large group of people that were going to go to their house and talk to them. A yeah. uh, large group of people that want to come on board as agents. Uh, if you need any of us uh, at the corporate level to talk to anyone for you, either uh, to become an agent or to become a customer, we don't care. We need both. We need agents. We need customers. Mm -hmm. We need to get the word out about this amazing product, Health Alliance Network Telemedicine. Go to healthalliancenetwork.com or call the person or reach out to the person that invited you here mm -hmm. on this, uh, this uh, meeting tonight and talk to them about it. Great opportunity to improve your health and wellness and to make a good income. And tell them the Steve sent you. Steve sent us. That's right. <laughs> you hear that? Oh, that's that's my other phone. That's someone else's phone. See, it's your phone that's, that's ringing this time. Yeah, but it's, I have a very quiet. Phone. And by the way, we talk about remote monitoring and all the all the benefits that we get. Yes, I have our smart band. Yes, on right now, and I have Hold to say, so see it. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure I don't put on any data. That <laughs> well, here I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. Um, there you go. You're not so walking, walking upstairs. upstairs. Yeah, I'm not walking upstairs. So it's reminding me that I've been sitting on my butt here a little bit too long, and I should be moving. So I'm gonna. I get a little motion in. <laughs> so I'm good now. I just wound it up. 
But it's kind of it's kind of cool because as I'm sitting here, I realize you know, I've, been, I've been sitting way too long. I got to get up and move around and get a drink of water or something. That fitness tracker is amazing. I mean, it, it it has 14 modes. We've been testing them because we're going to tell you how to get one free in just a minute. Yeah. Uh, we've been testing the the fitness tracker for for a little bit, and I tell you, its best comparison is to the Garmin that I tried out. Uh, which has about as many modes as this has. It's 14 modes. It'll, it'll track your walking, your running, your cycling, uh, your sitting. It keeps yelling at you because you've sat too long. Uh, it'll, it'll do that. Uh, your blood pressure, uh, the heart rate. Is that a GPS? No, Garmin does GPS, but they also have a great fitness monitor. Like 20 treatment. years ago. Yeah, they, well, they still have those, yeah. So. My mother keeps asking me to update her Garmin. Oh, that, the little Garmin you put yeah, it in? Yeah. Well, as she comes down here, I get updated with our, with our house. I try, this is my Garmin now. This yeah. is my doctor. This is my encyclopedia. This is my Garmin. This is my everything. But my fitness tracker. It's not my fitness tracker. You have to wear a fitness tracker on your hand. That fitness tracker that he has, show the audience. He's got a fitness tracker. I'll show you. A bunch of colors. Purple. Green, yeah. Blue. Six, we have six colors that you can pick it out. I did 10,000 steps the other day. I was did you really? Out. Yeah, but now, did you tie it to your dog? Well, since then. Well, I <laughs> He does since, that since then, it's been ties it to his dog, lets the dog run around and, and do the steps for him. That's right. Go, go, go. Go, 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 run. Um, we're very excited about our fitness tracker because we're all about health and wellness. Mm -hmm. uh, go to Health Alliance Net, uh, healthalliancenetwork.com, look at the health plans, and in the health plans, you're going to find an annual health plan that we have discounted by 50%. Annual health plan, 50% discount on it, and you get a free fitness tracker when you subscribe to our annual plan. It's a one-year plan? One-year plan. Get a free fitness tracker, color of your choosing. Great gift. Mm -hmm. Great cool. gift. Oh, to yeah, give that's right. It's holidays now. It's a holiday. Get, for, for friends, for families, if you're an employer, uh, you can give them a whole entire year of health care for an entire family. Mm -hmm. Plus, you get a free fitness tracker. Out of, you get six colors. You got blue, you got black, you got green, you got red, we got purple. I don't know what the other colors are. I think we have a pink one, too. Yeah, pink one, too. We have a pink one. Yeah. Great, great. Just go to our website, healthalliancenetwork.com, and click on health plans, and you'll see the fitness tracker there that's available for you. Uh, absolutely free with our annual uh, membership of uh, telemedicine. I love it. That's it. That's it. That's the show. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. We've wait, wait, wait. Our glasses still straight? Uh, yours are not. I mean, it's my head. Is, you know, the glasses are straight. My head is crooked. You went past the times by two minutes and 30 seconds. I did. You did. Good night, everyone. We'll see you later. We're going to go back into our symposium and catch up on some more great news about telemedicine and telehealth. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you for being here and good night. Good night, everyone.